Folks, wondering what happened on July 5th in baseball history? We lost one of America's true heroes, Ted Williams. Larry Doby officially breaks the color barrier in 1947, and Chuck Dresden declares, we knocked him out. They won't bother us anymore. Of course, he was talking about the 1951 New York Giants. We're here to talk about all those stories and a little bit more that happened on July 5th, this day in baseball history. Every piece of history starts with the birthday. And of the hundreds of players that were born today, a special birthday calls out to Hall of Famer Rich Goose Gossage. With this mean-looking scowl, orthodox delivery, and a fastball that frequently approached 100 miles an hour, Gossage was one of the most intimidating relief pitchers of his time. Adding to Gossage's mound presence were his size and willingness to pitch inside to opposing batters. He was one of the pioneers of the closer role that's become such an intricate part of baseball over the last three decades. The, the six foot three, 220 pound reliever, though, did differ a little bit because he would come in in the seventh inning and frequently have three inning saves. He was born in Colorado Springs on July 5th, 1951. Today's debut? Well, there can only be one today, and that is Larry Doby. Uh, he's going to de- debut on July 5th, 1947, uh, and he's going to have one at bat against the Chicago White Sox. Of course, Doby did previously de- debut the Negro Leagues in 1942. Robin's going to have more on this shortly. And before we jump into Robin's highlights for today, quick trivia. Which Hall of Famer retired to man- manage a Louisiana rice plantation with his sister? The answer is going to be at the end of the show. Now here's Robin with the highlights. On this date in 1929 at the Polo Grounds, the New York Giants become the first team to use a public address system, wiring the empires for sound. It was a failed experiment. In 1947, Larry Doby becomes the second black player to play in the major leagues and the first to appear in the American League. Striking out as a pinch hitter for the Indians in a 6-5 loss to the White Sox, the 22-year-old would go on to play in the major leagues for 13 years, amassing 1,515 hits, just three less than Jackie Robinson. The Veterans Committee enshrined Doby in the Hall in 1998. And on this date in 1951, after a three-game sweep of the Giants at Ebbets Field, Dodger manager Chuck Dresden declared, We knocked him out. They won't bother us anymore. By season's end, the seven-and-a-half game lead the Dodgers enjoyed on that day would finally fall to Bobby Thompson's shot heard round the world. Also on this date in 1951, future Hall of Famer Rich Goose Gossage was born in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And on a sadder note, in 2002, baseball legend Ted Williams, considered by many the greatest hitter in the history of the game, died of cardiac arrest at the age of 83. The first ballot Hall of Famer was a lifetime 344 hitter, won both the MVP and the Triple Crown twice, and hit 521 home runs during his 19-year Red Sox career. Nicknamed the Kid, Williams led the American League in batting six times and hit 406 in 1941. He accomplished all of this while missing the better part of five seasons, serving his country as a pilot during two wars for the United States Marines. That was July 5th, this day in baseball. Appreciate you as always, Robin. Thanks for those highlights. We're going to have more on her later. Now, a little bit more about that trivia. He also holds the record for most career games pitched without striking out 100 in a season. (gasps) Now, we have a few uh, featured audio games over at VintageBaseballReflections.com. One is the uh, New York Yankees taking on the Washington Senators, a game that was called by Phil Rizzuto and Mel Allen. That happened on July 5th, 1960. Then we're going to take you over to Shea, where the Mets and the Cubs played on July 5th, 1965. And then we got another one, July 5th, 1970. Again, the Senators taking on the Yankees. You can check out all those games at VintageBaseballReflections.com. You can also check out a couple of cool highlights of a July 5th, 1982 game where Phil Garner tortured his former teammates. Uh, Garner homered off of the Pirates, and that was his fifth home run of the year, and three of them came against the Pirates. And Joe Negro uh, closes them out with a complete game for his seventh victory of the year. Both of those highlights uh, were brought to you by Astros Daily. And you can, uh, 
And you can again hear those radio highlights on VintageBaseballReflections.com. Now, a quick an- now an answer to that trivia you've been waiting for, Ted Lyons, Sunday Teddy. Uh, we touched on him on the July 2nd podcast, which you can uh, get a deeper dive on Ted. And this is a special personal call out to me that is something that happened in 1997 on July 5th when prior to the game uh, with the Atlanta Braves at Olympic Stadium, the Expos retired Andre Dawson's uniform number 10. During his 11-year tender with the Expos, the Hawk set the single-season club records for home runs with 32, RBIs 113, extra base hits 78, and sacrifice flies 18. And I always loved Andre Dawson, and I wore 10 because he was my favorite player growing up, and I still wear 10 to this day when I play. And uh, it was such a great thing to see that the Expos honored him uh, by retiring his number. Now, a quick thank you to Robin from RobinSays.com for the highlights in Horseshide Trivia. Uh, For today's trivia, links to both are in the show notes. VintageBaseballReflections.com features a treasure chest of baseball audio. The wonderful thing is the audio isn't a guy like me or a few talking heads reflecting on players, seasons, or teams. It is the actual players from that era, announcers from that era, giving you an uncut, unfiltered, unrecent day stance on what it was like then. These are real-time clips from that era. Now, we encourage you to check out our entire back catalog of baseball audio. And if you like old-time games, and folks, and folks, you are not alone. Join the membership section to enjoy interacting with fans, scoring games with folks just like you, and listening to hundreds of radio broadcasts that were baseball classics. As a special offer to you, type in This Day in Baseball for a discount just for you. And if you enjoyed the show, hit the plus sign to subscribe, follow us on the socials, and above all, share us with your friends who love baseball history just like you.